Geico Park in beautiful downtown San Diego. And Joe has dinner league action for you this afternoon. It's the Houston Astros and the San Diego Padres. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. And on the hill, the big righty, you Darvish. He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because, you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good line of arm delivers, Jose. Right side, hard hit. Kroger sets it on the bag. One out in the top of the first. Now we check out the Astros lineup. The challenge for him today is elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's a challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boo. You get a trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you bring Stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, oh, get that runner in a swing. The ID, ball in dirt. And the pitch. The hit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Probably not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, well, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Good eye right there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Out to short. Tosses the first, and they get Bregman for the out. Edward on Alvarez. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters. And a good eye there. Two out, space is empty. and he can't hang on the throw is still in time and they do get the third out the inning is over one two three go the astros and now the friars will get their first chance no score you're watching major league baseball on the show back here in san diego and getting the start from Valdez. chris what should we keep an eye on here with him the spin on the curveball is no, they're going to see a lot of them today. Stay back, be patient, and hit the ball the other way. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's Xander Bogarts. Just missed. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Here comes a pitch. Fought off foul. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. He's not able to swear it up. Pena. Bogart's retired. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, they're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big-time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you 
to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevate it because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. But when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. Tatis waits. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel oh. to it. And a curve is down and in. The opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. Hit hard on the ground is short. Over to oh. Abreu. And they take care of Tatis for the out. Got it. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Two down, nobody on. And that one is inside. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. There's a strike, and it's two and one. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during the game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Myers makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Scoreless after one. And we're back. Here's the veteran first base. First and third now with nobody out. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. If that comes back to bite him. Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extra. They'll be some second guessing for sure. Making a move at third. Entering is the pinch runner, Greg Kessinger. So runners at the corners, nobody out. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker, known for his late inning heroics. Top of the zone for a called strike. A runner third with less than two outs. This is the guy that usually comes through in these spots. Kessinger at third. Abreu on at first. With it's hard, but foul down the left side. The 0-2. Oh, Movement in the bullpen. Jeremiah Estrada up and loosening in the pen. Cosgrove also throwing. The 1-2. Oh, that's inside. Oils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Hit the air left field. Profar has a beat on it. Squeezes it. Runner tags from third. He's saved. On the board first, it's one zip. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Here's the catcher hit, Yainer Diaz. Darvish, multi-time All-Star, 37 years young, and he was born in Japan. 
This to third. And Roman lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scored position and just one out. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield. It's just so It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. So one out with two aboard. Here's the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. Golden opportunity right here. First oh, pitch awesome. doesn't find the zone. Two on, one out. And that skips in the dirt. Pitch misses there, and now 3-0. and oh. One down, runners at second and third. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and right the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. So digging in, Jeremy Pena. There's a strike. Well, all eyes on the double oh, play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Base is loaded. One away. The oh, shortstop takes the ball. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire. But Boo Dixon... Maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners. So we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. I'm talking about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field. Back there. Out of here. Grand slam. That one felt good. And they add to their lead. It's 5-zip. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. Here comes the skipper and we're going to see out of the bullpen and on the score everybody matters for the in their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for So up next, Jake Myers. He swings and fouls one off. It's exploding for five so far in the inning here at the top of the second. And nope, the slider the just misses. There's Aye. a strike. Bows it back with two strikes. pitch Three. swing and a miss now had him out front strike free oh well, that's a curveball that i'm two strikes the sort of pitch you're hoping for a bit of a mistake and i'd say in a very hittable location but clearly it was enough to get him to swing through it altuve the bat 
at her now as he swings and misses for strike one. Two outs in the dirt. One ball, one strike. One and one. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. Next That's offering is downstairs. And he chases that one. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. They score five times on three hits, including the home run. No errors and no one left on. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Astros five and the Padres nothing. Back here at Peckle Park, we head to the bottom of the second. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Manny Machado. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. That's oh, that a little good. bit low. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of no. guy that every year you expect to be in the all-star game no, and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. That one hammered center field. That's back there. That's long gone. That'll fire up the dugout. It's 5-2. This crowd back alive. job of anticipation there he knows he throws the sinker that one down in the zone you're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to well he won manager out of the dugout now and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound Framber Valdez won't go any further it's a three-run game and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute so Josh Hader gets the call of the mound and I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're now holding a small the lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So Peter. it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Next for the Padres, Ha Sung Kim. Ground ball up the middle. On the run. Oh, the throw is over his head. And it's going to wind up out of play. Well, he just tried to force a play that wasn't there. Ends up a single and a so Now they have to deal with a runner in scoring position. You know, good communication on the field can make a big difference on a play like that. And now, Luis Campusano. And there's a foul ball. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. Hater throw over, and he's back in easily. And here it comes. And a swing to miss. Hater. He's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff that results in a ton of strikeouts and a ton of spot like this. Is a big time benefit. Man at second. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Now, as a hitter, a guy like this comes into the game, you feel like he's standing on top of you, and it's just attack mode. Not in time. He's safe. And on the wild pitch, goes down to third. Pitch. Well, 
He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. And a pitch. Three. He goes down looking. Batting seven. Now batting jerk. The goal is to give your teammate a chance to score from third. There's a few ways he can get it done, but his best chance is to drive one in the air. Look for the right pitch up and then smoke it. And now the lefty, not one, even one. close there. And that is ball one. And a pitch. Nope. Just Outside. missed. And that one fouled off. Kicks and fires. Gets a piece and stays alive. Kim takes his lead at third with one away. And another ball. Outside and ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough. Buckle down, right? Here. Runners on the corners with one gone. Matthew Batten, the next up for the Padres. In for a strike. It's 0-1. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. strike two I think ultimately you want to tie him up get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield fights that one away and the count remains 0 and 2 the healthy cut tough pitch at 98 but a really good pass at the ball Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And that one got a piece of him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Stepping in for San Diego, Jackson Merrill. Wouldn't chase that time. One out, base is full. Roll to short, could be two. Quickly to second for one. That's a double play. The ball game is over. A high relief for the pitcher there, ending the ball game with a nice double play. You always love when you get two for one, especially when it wraps up the ball game. Nice win for this team today. And your final score, 5-2. Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Fans are.